So over the past year, I want to say just about a year, I've been getting really, really into, I guess, urban exploration. I guess that's what you can call it, exploring abandoned locations, shit like that. I didn't used to like it at all. Um, there were a few bad moments that kind of ruined it for me, and I've talked about those moments on this channel. And recently, something really funny happened. Not funny when it happened, because when this happened, I was scared shitless. But I thought I would talk about this. So a few months ago, one of my friends hit me up with the opportunity to be able to go out to an abandoned insane asylum. And, you know, I've went through some abandoned buildings, but nothing like an insane asylum before. And the whole reason I'm doing this video today was actually because of a few days ago, I went out to an abandoned factory. And I actually recorded it. And I'll probably be posting that vlog up on my second channel in like a few days or maybe a week. I'll post that up here if you want to go subscribe to it and watch that video when it comes out. But yeah, going to that abandoned factory, it just made me want to talk about this even more. But anyway, this story starts off pretty normal. Like I said, my friend offered to take me down to this place and basically explore it with him and one other person. So we were really excited. He came over to my house with his car. His friend was with him already. We hung out at my house for like an hour, ate something. And then we just immediately set off to go to this place. And it's, a, like I said, a little bit of a drive. But it was nothing really insane. It was just like a 20 minute drive. But we got up to this place. We saw that there was a security guard out front. So we were like, okay, let's wait a little bit before going in there. So we drove around a little bit, came back like 30 minutes later, still the security guard there. And we all pretty much knew at this point that this security guard was going to be there the whole night. So we decided, you know what, let's just wait till he's on the other side of the building. And then we'll just basically sneak by and get in through the little entrance that we had. So in the meantime, we decided to park our car kind of far away and then basically just walk up to the location and watch. And this guy went to the other side of the building. We had a perfect opportunity to get in. And that's what we did. We basically ran over, went through this little entrance that we had. And it's basically the entrance that everyone uses when they want to go in this building. It's not even a door or anything. It's literally a fucking hole in the wall. It's a really, really rundown building. But we went into the building. There wasn't any security on the inside of the building. They basically just patrolled the outside. And we were in there just going through the rooms, basically. And some of the fucking rooms in this place were terrifying. I'm a little pussy when it comes to stuff like this. Like, no joke, some of the walls had writing on them. And, like, there was bed frames in some of the rooms. It was just some really freaky shit. And just kind of the shit you would see in an abandoned insane asylum. And I obviously know that the writing on the walls was obviously put there by other kids that sneak into this building and shit like that. But it's just still kind of creepy, you know what I mean? It gives you that weird feeling. And I also know there's going to be that top comment being like, dude, I live in an abandoned insane asylum. You're a little pussy. Like, grow up. And while you're pretty much right, I'm definitely... Uh, pretty scared when it comes to stuff like this but we went up to the second floor and this is when I actually really started getting worried because when we went up to the second floor I could just hear noises above us like there was multiple floors in this building we didn't want to go through all of them we really only wanted to do like two or three that's about it but we were hearing noises above us and my friends like oh you hear that dude like what the fuck was that and these two friends that I'm with are laughing and just not even taking it seriously and I'm sitting there like shaking because I just heard noise above us in an abandoned building and I don't know it's just fucking freaky and I'm sitting there freaking out I'm like you know we should leave guys like let's get the fuck out of here and my friends are like let's go upstairs and I wasn't about to be that kid that just gets too scared and makes everyone leave early so I decided to go upstairs with them to the third floor and while we're going up there I'm just telling myself I'm like you know what dude it was probably just the noise that the building made it's a huge building no one's up on the third floor like what the fuck like basically just telling myself stuff to calm me down and when we got up there we didn't really see much we're going through all the hallways going through all the rooms really nothing up there now I want to say we basically explored like 80% of the third floor, right? Like pretty much all of it was done. And I'm like, all right, guys, let's get the fuck out of here before we get caught. And my two friends just go, wait, there's one more little hallway to go down. I'm like, come on, dude, let's just get out of here. And they just had to do it. They had to go through this little hallway. They're going through, checking out the little side rooms. I went through a couple. It was basically just the same shit that we saw in the rest of the rooms. And that was pretty much it. But as we walked closer and closer to the end of the hallway, there was an abandoned bathroom up there. And in that room, I heard stuff, like literally voices. I could hear voices coming from that room. And I'm like, no, we need to go. Like, let's get the fuck out of here. There was people in there. I don't really feel like meeting them. And if they're mean, I don't want to have a confrontation. And my friend's just like, Austin, man, you got to fucking chill out. They're probably just tagging or some shit. Like, relax. And they start walking over towards that room, right? And it's literally an abandoned little bathroom room. Like, who fucking cares? It's not that important to see. And as they walked in and I followed behind them, I started immediately just hearing screaming from the side of the room. And it was fairly dark in there. It was a big bathroom, too. So over in the far corner of the room, I just heard this screaming. And I immediately just 180 and started running down that hallway. Because I'm like, nope, I'm not fucking doing this tonight. This is not my night to have this shit happen. And as I was running, I could tell by the scream it was actually a girl. Now, I didn't fucking think that it was some ghost or some shit. I just figured it was someone in there either tagging or maybe a homeless person in there that did not want us in there and I didn't get a good view of this person at all because both of my friends were in the doorway plus when I heard that scream I just immediately whipped around and started running because I just was not having it 
But while I ran, with my friends behind me running, I heard this yelling following us, like whoever was chasing my friends and me, they did not stop chasing us. But the second we got to the bottom floor and went through that little hole in the wall and ran out to the parking lot, the screaming stopped. They stayed in the building, whoever was chasing us. And me and my friends dashed back to the car, jumped inside of it, turned it on, and just drove away and immediately started talking about what just happened. Just like heavily breathing, freaking out. And I told them, I'm like, yo, I fucking told you guys so. And they were just like, yep, that was really, really creepy. And they told me who it was. It was actually two people in the bathroom. One of them was a girl. One of them was a man. They were both homeless. They had pillows and blankets on the floor. And when we walked in there, they just did not want us in their fucking room. That was their room. That's where they were sleeping. We were not welcome. And when my friends told me that they saw them with the blankets and stuff, my immediate thought was just, dude, why the fuck would you want to sleep in an abandoned insane asylum? Like, I understand finding somewhere remotely safe to sleep, but an abandoned insane asylum with security and people constantly exploring it, that would just fucking creep me the hell out. But they weren't fucking around, man. They clearly seemed to have some great defense mechanisms, like running at people and screaming at them like banshees. But yeah, this left me pretty freaked out. I don't really go back to this place often unless it's in the daytime because that way no one's, you know, getting ready to sleep in it. But yeah, really fucking weird stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Feel free to leave any of your scary stories in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.